One of the determinants of having a large colony is the higher need for food and oxygen, as average players are recommended time and time again to keep their colonies small to reduce overconsumption in short periods of time. While electrolyzers can be considered a major oxygen producer in the game, the early and mid-game deterrence is that heat produced from electrolyzers need to be removed, and it's not a small amount of heat at that until a steam turbine is made or a complex system of injecting heat into areas or materials you don't use the use of electrolyzers for new players can be considered a big no-no in order to avoid heat death of their food and colony however the surrounding biomes on a average colony generated can actually contain a vast amount of 20 degree to 35 degree water polluted water or salt water etc all of which can be converted into oxygen without using electrolyzer which can last hundreds of cycles on an average colony of course things like algae terrariums can generate a large amount of polluted water in localized areas with a long-term supplement for your oxygen that still requires a need of algae which might not be available or in low quantity on some map as alternatives is rusty oxidizers which is in itself a heat generating building the alternative and vastly underestimated and underused building for oxygen generation is this is the carbon skimmer dealing with the carbon skimmers instead of feeding its output into a cleaning loop or dumping it elsewhere create instead a long designated floor area with or without deodorizers to dump polluted water in order to allow off-gassing of polluted water which can then be filtered into oxygen be aware that the amount of off-gassing polluted oxygen is determined by the quantity per tile of available polluted water pretty much one kilogram of polluted water will off-gas very little polluted oxygen well a thousand kilograms of polluted water will off-gas a much larger amount the larger quantity of available tiles of polluted water of gassing will increase the overall output per second. So don't expect your base to be exploding with oxygen the moment the setup is activated as the polluted water quantity needs to increase. Forget cleaning food poisoning as food poisoning in oxygen doesn't affect the duplicates. All of this polluted water is considered more supplementary source of oxygen. And the need to use algae diffusers, rust deoxidizers or algae terrariums early game are still recommended. However, with less material use and more surrounding biome water usage, this will allow very large extension in terms of oxygen until your mid and or end game oxygen source is found. That doesn't mean this design can't be entirely used for your oxygen usage, whether it's for small or large amount of duplicates. The issue mainly stems from a large amount of space consumed, making off-gassing areas as once you have a cooling source such as steam turbines you can essentially inject 95 degree water to your carbon skimmers to make polluted water however once you reach the point of steam turbines you pretty much open the door to hydrogen from electrolyzers there's also a power source and a resource for space exploration in endgame